we weren't going to send a product halfway across the country that was going to have problems and we were going to have to try and fix it. We used our own local fire departments to figure out what worked for them, what didn't. Once we got that going is when we started first in emergency products. We were operating as 1075 emergency vehicles. We took the idea from the cabinets that we were building here initially for, the, for our own builds, and we took it to a national level. We were bringing on designs where people were selling just standard cabinets. We started going into customization, and that's where First In was really born. Everybody does something different. Not one department does the same thing. They want to be different. They want to do something. They have to put their own touch on it. It's just something that they do. They carry their own piece of equipment. They do something differently. So nothing is necessarily going to be the same. I think all the customization allows us to set ourselves apart from our competition. We sell to approximately 100 dealers nationwide now. Our dealer network is very strong. We have a lot of good dealers out there. The nature of any custom product, nothing is going to be quick. We are always working to improve our lead times, but our greatest priority is to make sure we're not sacrificing quality. We have invested a great deal into the technology, into the manufacturing capabilities, and also increasing our staffing. But we also just want to make sure that we're not sacrificing that quality. We've reinvested in, in a better workforce, a more trained workforce. We've started using more technology. We've been investing in more equipment. And slowly, we've been able to work those lead times back down to a manageable level. Just like the rest of the company, we are constantly changing our processes. We currently have multiple cabinets completed in a day. So we are always trying to streamline our process in an effort to reduce our shipping times and being able to get our product out the door as quickly as we can once it's finally completed. Our customers work with our designers to make whatever dreams they want come true. Whatever they can dream up, we can do. Jump on a video call with somebody and, and get them into our CAD program and show them their cabinet in real time and show them where it's gonna fit and how it's gonna work. We take the time to help them understand the product that they're buying. Various experiences in the emergency field, even my own as a volunteer firefighter, allows us to be able to make appropriate suggestions for how equipment can be laid out or different features that may be needed in the field with relative first-hand experience. Customizing and modifying and stuff like that and being flexible with that is something that's necessary. And wanting to do that for people is something that we've always done. We go the extra mile to make sure that the customer is really satisfied with the product. We go through that from the time we start the design with the dealer to the time it's delivered to the dealer and the installation and beyond. I take pride in our work here because first responders deserve the best quality they can get. They're gonna get that from us. We're a family run business. We have a lot of first responders here. We treat everybody like family. Our goal is to treat our customers and our dealers like family as well. Being a first responder for 19 years and also being a customer of this company prior to my employment here, I take a lot of pride in the fact that we are building a product for our first responders to help them efficiently respond, act, and store all their necessary equipment safely in their vehicles. And the product itself is American made, handmade, and we, we all take a lot of pride, blood, sweat, and tears in this company to put out a great product. We are, we are, we are first in emergency products.